I just got paid. I'm going to Vegas. I'm going to spend all my money. I'm going to go gambling and bottle service at Hakkasan. Bro, it's going to be rad. <laughs> there are four things that you should never do with your money. And I'm going to go over those four things in this video of what you should never do with your money. Now, I would know. Back in 2014 and 2015, I made a million dollars profit. I was in my mid-20s at the time. And the first thing I would do when I got, you know, I got my commission paychecks is I would go over to Vegas. Vegas, baby. I would go from a quick flight on Friday afternoon. I'd fly over to Vegas and I would stay as long as I wanted it. Then I'd book a flight back. And what's funny is that even though I was making a million dollars a year, in 2017, I ended up at a point where I was broke and I owed hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt. Doesn't make sense, right? How can you make so much and end up broke? The reality is that roughly 50% of all people in the world live paycheck to paycheck because and that means for every dollar in, the dollar goes out. And living paycheck to paycheck, if you're living that way, probably you're broke, okay? Because you're spending as much as you're making. Now, I was in that same situation. I was in a higher income tier, but for most Americans, that's the truth. Most professional athletes end up broke within 10 years of exiting the NFL or the NBA. Makes no sense, right? These are people that are earning millions of dollars a year. But the reality is that most people come from poor families, especially NBA and NFL players. And just because you're making a lot of money doesn't mean you are saving it or spending it correctly. So I'll be going over the four things that you should never do in this video to help make sure that you don't end up living in a paycheck to paycheck situation. Follow along, educate yourself, and take notes. Now folks, okay, I, I've, I have been broke, you know, multiple times. I was broke when I was poor. Uh, when, before I started my business, I was also broke when, you know, I was making a million dollars a year. And so the mathematics of it, it doesn't matter how much money you make, you can still end up broke at the end of the day, no matter how much you make. And control is the best thing. Now, the first thing you should avoid if you're making a lot, any amount of money, it doesn't matter if you're making a little or making a lot, but the first thing is gambling, okay? Now, I just told you, first thing I do is go to Vegas after I got paid because it was fun, it's a party. Woo! <laughs> party! But gambling's bad, okay? Now, the chances of you winning, you know, a Powerball lottery, for instance. You know, the Powerball was almost $750 million a few years back in America. $750 million you could make with just $1, right? And I remember during that time, people were like, buy tickets, buy lots of Powerball tickets. We're gonna become, you know, multi, multi hundred millionaires. The sad truth is the reality of winning a Powerball lottery is one in over 40 million people. So the chances of you winning that, you actually have a better chance of becoming the president of the United States. You actually have a better chance of getting killed by a vending machine falling on top of you. I'm not even joking. One in 10 million people get killed by vending machines each year. The point being, gambling is not a good way to spend your money at any point in time. Those scratch-offs or those those uh, you know Powerball tickets or the lottery tickets, First off, you're buying Powerball tickets or scratch off, type off guilty in the comments. You know who you are. 
It's not worth it, folks. Not worth it. Don't gamble with your money if you're trying to save. Now, number two, second thing you should not spend your money on is the infamous bottles, okay? Now, man, I was also guilty of this. So I would always, you know, I was that guy who just would go to the Vegas and I'd buy bottle service. I had my promoters lined up or, you know, I'd go to a club or a bar and the typical markup on bottles at clubs is about 1,000 times. So you buy a bottle of Grey Goose at a supermarket, it's about $30. You buy a bottle of Grey Goose at a club, it's about $3,000. And I used to go to Vegas, I remember one night, I was at Hakkasan, I was, uh, I, I caught Blau, Blau was the DJ, and uh, it was pretty cool, you know, I was, I was like, I got a huge table right next to the DJ booth, it was sick, spent $35,000 in a night on alcohol, right, oh my gosh, I can't even believe I did that, that was unjust, that was crazy, and that is not a good way to spend your money, and Going further than bottles is actually alcohol. You know, if you're, if you're spending a lot of money on alcohol, you know, you're going to bars and spending a lot of money, that is not a good way to use your money. Unless you, you know, make sure you're saving up money before, you know, don't spend it all on the weekend. So this is a horrible, horrible idea of a way to spend your money. Third way not to spend your money is actually emotional shopping, okay? Now, some of us are guilty of it, not to be all sexist and genderist or whatever, but it seems to be that women tend to go emotional shopping more often than men. But men still do it too, you know? It's like, I deserve a new car, I deserve a new motorcycle, or I deserve a vacation. And you spend, you know, men make bigger purchases that cost a lot of money. Women tend to do, you know, more smaller purchases. But the fact remains is that emotional shopping is not a good way to spend your money. If you want to shop, you know, just, you know, if you need to de-stress or somehow, find another outlet to do that. Don't go emotional shopping. That's a great way to spend and lose a lot of money on things you don't need usually. And the last thing, the fourth thing you should not spend your money on is buying new cars, okay? Or just buying cars in general. Now, cars are not a good investment, okay? Buy a used car or lease a car through your business and expense it even better. But buying new cars is just unnecessary. A car is a vehicle to take you from point A to point B. You don't need that leather upgrade. You don't really need that Bose sound system. You don't actually need to raise your truck up another eight inches and put on knobbies and put on those really cool things, you know, the lift boards that slide in and out and some lights underneath it and a wrap. You don't need any of those things. What you need is a vehicle that takes you from point A to point B. So if you are looking to get your money straight, keep these things in mind. And if you're looking to take your income to the next level, make sure you subscribe to my channel click that subscribe button because you know I'm going over some ways you can save money because I want to make sure you get your mind straight but also you want to make more money as well and that's what my channel's about subscribe if you're interested make sure join that money club hashtag money club in the comments below if you're dedicated to getting your money right feel free to join my money club 50 bucks a month you get to talk to me twice a month on live streams you get about 40 hours of video content of courses and mini courses and videos of mine that are unreleased to the public where you can learn how to get yourself straight, start earning some serious cash doing what I do, which is called affiliate marketing, and learn more. Give this video a big like and see you soon.